Hey, I'm Nathan Tabor with Handling Life. I want to ask you a question. Is questioning God okay? I don't know if you've thought about that before, but it's something I think about on a pretty regular basis. You know, think about that question for a moment. Is it okay? Is it okay to question God? I find myself asking God questions pretty often, uh, pretty much on a regular basis daily basis. You know, I've got some generic questions I go through. You know, God, why am I going through this? You know, what's the purpose of this? Or God, you know, what's your will for my life? Or God, are you there? It's one I probably most often, or, you know, God, what's the real purpose of this? Like, why have you brought just this generic thing into my life. I just don't understand. I got some, you know, more specific questions as well. You know, God, why are you allowing this pain to stay with me after I've had neck surgery? Like I've gone through physical therapy. I've gone through all you've, you know, allowed me to, but why am I still dealing with that pain? Or, you know, here's one that, you know, last few years of changing businesses and changing roles. And, you know, I feel like I'm right where God wants me to be. But, you know, God, why isn't my business growing? Why isn't my business growing faster? Or why isn't my business, you know, killing it right now like I see a lot of other businesses? So, you know, I've got some kind of generic questions. I've got some very specific questions that I go through. So, I want you to think about that. Is questioning God okay? Let me give you three examples of why I think it's okay to question God. And hang in with me here. Don't, don't leave me yet. Kind of what's that purpose? At times, we might not understand His purpose. We just might not. You know, take Mark 4, 38. So here the disciples are in the boat with Jesus right where they're supposed to be. But the storms come. They get nervous. And I'm, you know, you can just imagine all what's going through their mind, right? They're serving Him, but they're scared. You know, and they wake up the Master. They wake up Jesus and say, you know, are we going to perish? You know, like, what are we doing here? And really what they're saying is, why aren't you doing something about this? So here, disciples with Jesus questioning what's going on why aren't you protecting us are you going to let us die the other at times you know we i find and you might uh, find that something that god has told us is absolutely absurd like absolutely like not like how is that ever going to happen we'll look at the story of abraham in genesis 17 you know, God tells Abraham and Sarah that they're going to have another child. And what does Abraham do? He falls down on his face, questioning God, but he also starts laughing. Because he's like, there's no way. I'm a hundred years old. My wife is 90 years old. So he questions God, but he also laughs at God. Here's the one that's the most interesting for me. Even Jesus questioned God. In the Garden of Gethsemane, three times the Scripture records that God, that Jesus says to God, Hey, you got anybody else that can do this? You know, if this is my task that you've put before me, if this is my cup, I'll drink it. Thy will be done. But if not, if there's another way, let me know. So here's three different examples, and there's examples all throughout the Bible of Christians asking God, why, what, where, if there's some Jesus, if there's someone else, can they do it? And I, you know, that kind of sums up in my life of, God, you know, what's going on? So what's the issue here? What's the real core thing that we have to keep in mind, that I have to keep in mind and that you have to keep in mind? We may not understand God's will. We may not agree 
with God's will. We may not agree with the absurd thing that God has laid on our heart. We might want to change God's mind. You throw whatever you want to in there. I don't want to do what God has asked or I don't understand or I don't agree with. So here's the pivotal point in this. This is where you, I have to understand and I hope you'll understand. Questioning God is not wrong. Asking God what's going on is not wrong. It's when we stay in the mindset of continuously and constantly questioning God about the same thing. When we get stuck, and just imagine if Jesus had been stuck and just kept saying day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year, and he never did what he did on the cross for you and for me. What if Moses had stayed in that position of, God, I am not qualified to do this. You go find someone else. Same thing in my life. It's okay to ask God for understanding. It's okay to question God, but you can't stay there. If you don't understand it or you don't agree with it or you don't like it, God doesn't always answer us the way we want Him to. He doesn't always reveal Himself to us the way we want Him to or we even need for Him to. But you can't stay there. You can't stay questioning God. So yes, it's okay to question God, but you can't stay there. And that's what we see in the Scriptures. When people question God, one of two things happen. They chose to obey, even if they didn't understand, even if they didn't agree with, or they chose to ignore and right there, when you start tracking that in their lives from the Scriptures, in my life and in your life, when we choose not to do what God has called us to do and we ignore Him, then we're opening up a whole new set of things, a whole new set of storms and chaos and trials and tribulations in our life. So I just want to encourage you. Don't be afraid to ask God. Don't be afraid to beg for His you know, wisdom and guidance and to give you clarity. But then if He doesn't, continue to seek Him. Continue to move towards Him. Continue to do what He's called you to do in your life. I'm Nathan Tabor with Handling Life. I hope this has been an encouragement to you. I hope you will take this and apply it to your life. I hope you'll share it with others. And if I can do anything to help you, if I can answer any questions, you can head on over to handlinglife.org or you can go to Facebook at God's Word Handling Life and reach out to me.